Hey guys, Moham is here with us today. Hey guys. Uh, Moham is helping us a lot uh, to do this video. So Moham, thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Mark. I'm happy uh, you're here. Yeah, we finished uh, last video with the pre-fight checklist. And now we have received all our documents, uh, paperwork, uh, performance is done. Uh, we got the clearance and we did the briefings. Now we will start with the before start procedure. So Molham is going to start talking to the ground crew and uh, he's going to verify that all the checks are completed so we can pressurize the hydraulic system. Let's see how it's done. Cockpit to ground, confirm all your pre-flight checks are completed and we are clear to pressurize the hydraulics. All checks completed, clear to pressurize. All right. Now that we got the clearance to pressurize hydraulics, we'll do the flow and we'll start with the fuel pumps. We'll set the fuel pumps on and we'll make sure the lights are extinguished. Electric hydraulic pumps, they are coming on. Lights are extinguished and we have to check that the pressure is good. So we can check that we have 3000 PSI and in the brake pressure, we should have 3000 PSI. And then anti-collision light is coming on. In the meanwhile, while Marco is doing his flow, the captain will be doing his own flow, which is setting the trim to the required trim. 7.9 in our case. We make sure that the rudder trim is free and zero, as well as the aileron trim is free and zero. Yeah, so basically this happens at the same time. First officer does his flow, captain does his flow. And once the before start flows are completed, it's time to have the before start checklist. Marco, can we have the before start checklist, please? Sure. The before start checklist says, flight deck door closed and locked. So we check the door is closed and is locked. Fuel, 7,000 kilograms, pumps on. Passenger signs on. Windows, locked. Locked by signs. They are locked. MCP. Well, V2 is 146 set, heading 299, altitude 4,000 feet. Take off speeds. Uh, V1 is 141, VR is 141, and V2 is 146. V1, 141, VR, 141, V2, 146. Right. CDU pre-flight? Completed. Completed. Rotor, aileron trim? Well, it's free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing? Completed. Completed. Anti-collision light on, on before start checklist complete. That's great. Now, we are going to call ATC to get our push and start clearance. Let's do it. Let's do that. Clearance, uh, good afternoon. Uh, Dream Aero 123, stand uh, Fox 11, requesting pushback and start clearance. Dream Aero 123, clear for push and start, facing east. Hey, Dream Aero 123, we are clear for push and start, facing east. Now we got our pushback clearance, we will be facing east for the pushback. Let's do it. All right, and it's now time to talk to the ground one more time to tell them that the pushback is approved. Cockpit to ground. Pushback is approved, facing east, and parking brake is set. Pushback approved, facing east, release parking brake, please. And to release the parking brake in the 737, we have to press both the brake pedals at the same time. After releasing the parking brake again, we'll inform the ground crew one more time. Cockpit to ground, parking brake is released, time 11.47. Parking brake release, is starting pushback now, time 4.7. Cockpit to ground, clear to start engine number two. Clear to start engines two, one, one on sequence. Starting number two engine. To start the engines, we will select the engine parameters. We'll select the packs off. And then we'll start engine number two. We start timing. And we can see the increase in N2 once it reaches 25% N2, Moham will move the engine start lever to idle. We have to make sure we have N1 rotation before starting the engine. Start it cut out. Let's start engine number one. Timing. Push back completed, please set parking brake. Parking brake is set. Cockpit to ground. We have two good engine starts. You are clear to disconnect and hand signals to the left, please. 
clear to disconnect and signals on the left side have a nice day. So the after start flow start with the generators. We'll put them on. Pro heat switch on. Lights extinguish. Wind and engine and TIs off. Packs. Auto. Auto. APU bleeder switch off. APU off. And engine start switches to continuous. Once engine starter switches are continuous, they set stops to one. Once the flaps are set and we have green light, it's time for the captain to check the flight control. So we'll check that they're free of movement. Full left, full right, full down forward, full up. And we check the rudder pedals holding the tiller on the side. For right, for left. Now we'll clear the lower view. Now it's time to check the recall. Can we check the recall, Marco? Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope this video was informative. Stay tuned, where next video we'll do the before taxi checklist and we will taxi uh, to runway 30 right here in Dubai International Airport.